In the beginning, there was utter darkness, a void that was formless and empty. Then a voice pierced through this abyss, a voice potent and divine. It was God, and he said, let there be light. This command was not in vain, for light erupted, cutting through the darkness and illuminating the void. This light, a beacon of hope and a symbol of life, God named day, and the lingering darkness, he named night. Thus, the first day was born, a day of light and darkness of day and night. Moving on to the second day, God, the grand architect, turned his attention to the waters. He commanded for a firmament to be created, a vault to separate the waters above from those below. This firmament, a celestial dome, God crafted with precision and purpose. The waters parted obediently, creating a realm above and a realm below. God then named this firmament heaven, marking the end of the second day. On the third day, God's creative force continued to shape the world. He commanded the waters below the heavens to gather in one place and for dry land to emerge from beneath. As the waters receded, land appeared rugged and raw, ready to be molded by the divine hand. This land, a testament to God's power and creativity, he named Earth. The waters now confined to their place, he named Seas. It was a sight to behold, a world taking shape, a world that God saw and declared good. But the earth was barren and desolate, devoid of life and greenery. So God commanded the earth to bring forth grass, herbs yielding seeds and fruit trees bearing fruit. The earth obeyed and soon greenery covered its surface, seeds took root and trees bore fruit. Life had found its foothold and the third day came to an end. This is the creation story, a tale of divine intervention, of a world sculpted from nothingness. It's a tale that reminds us of the power and benevolence of the Creator, of the intricate balance and harmony that governs our world. It's a tale that underscores the significance of every blade of grass, every seed, every fruit and every living creature. For they are all part of this grand design, a design conceived and executed by God Himself. So the next time you gaze upon the vast sky or marvel at the beauty of nature, remember this story. Remember the divine hand that shaped it all, the voice that commanded light into existence, the power that separated the waters and the will that brought forth life. It's a story that stirs the soul, a story that brings us closer to understanding the mystery of our existence, and a story that inspires awe and reverence for the grandeur of creation.